Worm FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Maidstone away in the National League South. Adam, how are we feeling going into this one? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, what a game. I think it's a, it's a great great time for the club, really. Um, obviously, got next round of the FA Cup to look forward to. We've got the uh, Sussex Senior Cup, we've got a league club, um, and Yeovil and Maidstone um, in the league as well. So, yeah, really exciting period, I think, um, and it's one to really look forward to. And, um, yeah, just said to the lads there, like, got a big squad at the moment, but everyone's going to be needed if we want to be competitive on, on all fronts. Um, so, yeah, we've got to keep staying as high and, and, and train well and, and take that into Saturday. Maidstone's a team we're no strangers to. We obviously went there in the FA Trophy last season. Probably a time we had quite a few injury problems as well, but still held our own despite losing. What was, was there anything from that day you'd like to take into Saturday? Oh, yeah, I thought it was a relatively good performance, um, to be honest. I think the, the two you know, uh, scoreline flattered them a little bit. Um, one really late on, where we was trying to get uh, an equaliser. Um, bit soft, the goal they scored. It was like a cross shot as well, if I remember rightly. Um, just went over Harrison. So, yeah, I thought it was a good performance. I thought we created some good chances. And, um, yeah, it's a good place to play. I'm sure it'll be you know, a nice big crowd. And, um, like I say, it's, a, it's a, a National League club um, not so long ago so a game that we'll really look forward to and you know good game to test ourselves in. Were you expecting to come up against when we head up there? No they've got um, some big big powerful lads um, up top they normally play over two and it's it's um, they're, they're quite well drilled up there and good and get good crosses in um, so yeah it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a, a tough game um, and we're probably going to have to perform um, slightly better than we did last week but you know that's a challenge and you know we, the good thing is we're winning games but still um, trying to set the standards a little bit higher so uh, yeah we know we've got to perform at our best to, to get anything from the game. Obviously I don't want to dwell on it too much but just looking back on Saturday how are you feeling about it now there's been a little bit of analysis what are your thoughts on the day? No, yeah, just um, it's like that really. I think like the first 25 minutes, you know, I thought it was, it was really good. Um, they may become impressed us a little bit more second half, and you know, it's down to us to and the, uh, you know us as staff and, and and players to 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 sort of combat that and and see where the spaces might be. But yeah, we're just showing the lads today on you know areas that we can try and exploit when the game looks like that, and we've done previously. Um, but but all in all, it's yeah down to our sort of um, you know our, our sort of standards, our intensity, and I think we just fell off it a bit, and that was a disappointing thing on Saturday. The FA Cup draw has happened now. We've got Whitehawk home familiar opposition for us in a couple of weeks' time. How are you feeling going into that? Yeah, that's like I say, it's really exciting times. Um, like lots of good good fixtures, and uh, yeah, sort of another local Sussex sort of derby um, against Whitehawk. Um, it's one that you've, you've got to look forward to. Um, FA Cup, um, lot up, up up for grabs, and you know they'll they'll come with um, you know a lot of experience that they've got in their side, and definitely be looking to to try and get through to the next round. And you know it's down to us to try and be at our best and and, and combat what they bring. And yeah, like I say, we've got um, a huge game Saturday first to look forward to. Um, but yeah, then we'll very quickly turn our attentions to, to White Oak uh, here. I'm just looking at the squad for Saturday availability, one of the top of my head would be Ruben Austin who had a brilliant performance there last season. All those sort of boys who are on the road to recovery, whereabouts are they at? No, good year. Um, managed to get some, some fixtures in for them lads. Um, you know, helped Jake and, and Ruben's got 45 minutes uh, against Little Hampton. So yeah, he might be one that you know, we need to, to get out and get some games for. Um, Miki might be another one. Um, just get some game time into them too. Um, but yeah, it's all, all fit, healthy, and um, you know, if we can get some get some game time um, into them boys so that they're uh, a lot closer for competing um, for for a, a first spot um, in in the starting lineup. Then you know, we'll maybe have to look at look at doing that. But um, you know, it's a really good, healthy, healthy squad at the moment. Um, you know, we've got um, Stretch and Sam and Ollie and Alicia, uh, you know, our medical department working overtime and, and getting the lads out there and getting them prepared and, and doing a great job. And um, yeah, it's a good, good place to be.